What's up everyone, it's Mr. XLFPS. I'm going to be bringing you a tutorial this time on how to get the best settings on your HD PVR2 on Sony Vegas instead of ArcSoft Showbiz this time. It's basically the exact same settings, so you have the same quality. It's going to be 1080p or 1080 HD, whatever you want to call it. Um, basically you want to start off by taking a video, it doesn't really matter. Um, let's see, I'll go to... Basically, when I put it in there, and first of all, you want to right click properties and unclick maintain aspect ratio, disable resample, and hit OK. Then you want to go to properties where you can hit Alt Enter, and you want to make your width 1280 your height 720, field order, upper field first, pixel ratio 1.000 square, output rate rotation 0 degrees original, frame rate 59.940 double NTSC, stereoscopic 3D off, pixel format 32 bit floating point full range, composing gamma 2.222 video, full resolution rendering quality best motion blur type Gaussian uh, deinterlace method none adjust source media to better match project or render settings unchecked and you want to make this wherever you want it to save your well pretty much your all your sp wherever all your settings already are you probably want to keep it there so I have it where my old one was whatever I had Sony Vegas 10 obviously <laughs> and uh, start all new project with these settings you probably want to keep that s just checked because I forgot to do that myself um, now audio you want to make it stereo number of stereo bus buses zero sample rate hertz 44,100 bit depth 16 resample and stretch quality best and Enable low pass filter on LFE unchecked and wherever you want to save your recorded files, your recorded audio files, you want to check the wherever you want to put that at. And uh, those were all the I kept that all the same, so it should be all the good for you. And uh, now you want to also, we might want to hit, hit start all new projects with this, these audio settings and hit apply and hit OK. <coughs> now this isn't necessary but I do have some of these um, I have a color corrector which is I don't know why it's like this I have two actually I have um, this one's actually the best one I think God, why is it so big See if you can see a difference. It basically just makes it darker. Fix that for a minute. If you could see it, Let's see. Yeah, you probably can't really see that, but it just makes it darker. And it makes some videos look a lot better. Some not. But if you guys want to save want to save these settings like this just in case you can I really don't mm, I don't really think you guys should do it but if you guys want to add it in some videos go ahead you can copy those exact settings Set saturation 1.361 gamma 1.0 gain 1.067 offset negative 18.600 
and uh, I have. Well, hold on, let me go to it. Uh, where is it? There we go. Um, I have a color corrector secondary, which you can use too if you want. I don't know if you can. Whoops. Put that on. Can you see the difference? No, you probably can't. pretty much the same thing as the other one. You don't have to put this in there. I recommend you don't, but whatever you guys want to do. So now, let's see, is there another thing I have? Um, I don't think I do have any more. No, maybe a sharp that I have. No. Alright, so now you want to get to the router settings, which is the best part. <laughs> you want to go to main concept, and then if you're recording on in 720, you want to go to the internet HD 720. Or if you're recording in HD 1080p, you want to go to internet 1080p. It doesn't really matter, to be honest, because you're going to be choosing this what you want here. So right here is what I use you go to customize if you go to the internet HD whatever one you want 720 or 1080 you're gonna name your template first like whatever you want best HD PBR whatever and you wanna choose your frame size I chose 1920 by 1080 because that's what I record in you guys might be recording in 720, so 20, I mean 1280 by 720. So you can click that, but I'm choosing this. Your profile is going to be main. Then your frame rate 59.94, and allow source to adjust frame rate. Field order, non-progressive scan, pixel aspect ratio 1.0, number of reference frames 4. Use D blocking settings checked. Um, Variable bit rate checked, two pass unchecked, and maximum BPS 14 million, average BPS 14 million, and encode mode render using CPU only, CPU only. Enable progressive download checked, and then you want to go to audio and include audio sample rate 48,000 bit rate. 192,000 system should be exact like nothing doesn't whatever it shows up and the same thing with this it's the same thing as what it would be and what you want to do is hit the save button up here and you want to make sure it's named first then save it and then you want to go ahead and read the render the video thanks for watching guys and uh, that's the video hopefully this helped and you guys have banging video quality like I think I do. <laughs> Thanks, guys. See ya.